This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Hopefully you are well. We are in Wick. Uh, we're getting all this stuff taken off. I'm not sure if it's my last video or whether this video is going on before. I try and make it my last video. So this should be the video afterwards. Uh, we parked up last night in uh, Tewkesbury and now we're in Wick getting this taken off. We've got a busy day today, uh, lots of local runs. So Wick is um, near Tormarton, which is near Tetbury. Junction 18 on the M4. Today, we're, not, we're gonna be no more than sort of like an hour and a half away from the yard. So we're not gonna be very far away from home at all, but we do have lots of stuff to do. <laughs> so first things first, get this taken off in Wick. From Wick, we've got to go to Bristol, Henbury to be precise, to a place that I've not been to in years. Uh, we've got to get loaded for juicings in Bath. Now this stuff we get loaded with is possibly going to be pallets uh, of 20 kilogram bags, or it could be bolt bags with, with aggregate in. It's, um, they basically deal, it's day aggregate work, the work I used to do for JK Transport. So, we've got to go to Henbury, get loaded for bath, that's going to juice us. Once we go to bath, get that tipped. Uh, then we've got to go to Tetbury, get loaded again, and then that's got to go to Oxford. So, we've got lots of places to go to today, lots of things to see, and um, places to be. So, let's crack on. So, this is the stuff that we're delivering today. It's like metal reels of some sort. Um, they weigh 1.1 tonnes each, and uh, yeah, they just sort of slanted all across the bed. I had 12 straps strapping it all up, did every other one, double strapped the last two, uh, so they wouldn't slide backwards. But even then, um, when I got to my delivery, no, when I got to my uh, night out place last night, the straps were loose. It's the importance of um, checking your straps because I did an end of day check and uh, yeah, a lot of them were actually quite loose. One of them, to be honest with you, was hanging off. Um, I, I couldn't see that in the dark, but once I stopped and I didn't, I'd done a check of the load, I could see it was, was hanging loose. So that is the importance of checking. Anyway, we're um, gonna jump in the truck and then, well, it's annoying because I've got, got some bearers on the front and once, once they've all been taken off, I've got to put the bearers away, so I've got to get back out again. <laughs> Normally I'd sit in the truck and, and stay in the truck until it's done. But I kind of just want to stay out of the truck so I'm not keep getting up and down because I'm lazy. Let's, let's admit it, I'm just lazy. <laughs> right, we are in the truck. You may have been able to notice something different. I've added some lights, a bit of sparkle, so to speak. Um, my brand colours tend to be like turquoise, pinky purple colours. It's sort of, sort of like cyberpunk themed and I've got it inside the truck now as well. So we've got some ambient lighting, which of course I can change to whatever color I want, but I quite like the uh, the purple and blue mixture from the front of the truck. It looks sick, especially at night. Um, so yeah, very happy with that, very happy. By the way, the helmet, the hard hat doesn't really fit me properly. I need to get another one, I think. So this is the driving we've got to do over the next uh, hour and a half or so. So we are currently in Wick which is here. We're going to go up to this road, up to Junction 18 on the M4. We're going to follow that all the way. We're going to go to Henbury. We're not going to actually do this circle bit. It's the sat nav thinks we are because obviously it's trying to root us, but we're going to go into this entrance here, turn left here, and then we're going to come back out of it and turn back right again. But it thinks, you know, we want to do a circle. Then we're going to come back out, follow this down, take the, uh, the ring road round Bristol, blah, 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 get into Bath, avoiding all the weight limits, go right round, lower Bristol Road, past Travers Perkins, which is about here. Take a right, I've never been down here, I don't think, in a truck. Take a right, over the train track, go down here. There's a very, there's another very low bridge here, <laughs> uh, but we've got to avoid that. Take a left, up to Watershed, Watermore Land Station Road, sorry, and then Juicens is just here. That is what we're doing um, in the next sort of hour and a half's worth of driving. Now, this first place we've got to go to is, uh, it's in Henbury. Like I alluded to this earlier, I used to operate out of there all the time when I worked for JK Transport. It was like our main our main job. A bit like how uh, Tetbury, Malcourt now is my main job. That was I was there every day, multiple times. Um, and it's a very, very, very tight yard. So, I don't want to break this truck. So when we get there, I've got to disconnect the airlines and put it into shunt mode. Now, I was also asked in my last video where I had a failure of brakes. 
um, I was asked why didn't I put it into shunt mode, shunt mode then. That particular trailer did not have a shunt button. That is why I didn't put it into uh, shunt mode. I could have taken out all the airlines and left just the red airline in, but I, I didn't do that. I just left them all in. But we made it around and there was no damage. But this site, <laughs> this site is tight. Um, and I have snapped airlines in the past at this site. So I'm definitely taking off all the airlines and um, um, put it in shunt mode. And you've got a proper, and I mean proper jackknife. It's the tightest yard I've ever turn around in as far as I can remember um, and whenever I do tight turns in yards it's always the yard I think of um, it is proper tight so be interesting to go and see that later um, and whether they recognize me or not I don't know like I said I used to operate out there all the time so I don't know if they recognize me could have new staff I have been there in like six years man plus so it probably or could be completely new staff there I've got no idea um, but it'd be interesting to see. It'd be interesting to see. But yeah, we're going to juice in Bath. I suspect it's going to be palletized 20 kilogram bags, I would have thought. Um, and then maybe some bowl bags on top. I'm not sure. I think we're nearly tipped here. I wish um, I wish it got loaded as quickly as it got tipped here. Bloody hell. How long have I been here for? I've been here half an hour. But we got loaded yesterday. We were there for about two hours nearly. So here we go. Look, he's just taking them off with the forks. One at a time, and then take them from over there. We, um, I reckon, we'll be another, another half an hour maximum. Right, we are now tipped. Just putting away all my timbers now. To be honest, didn't really use too many timbers, so not too shabby. Everything sort of, everything sort of goes together in here like a jigsaw puzzle. So you got to get take stuff out to put stuff in. Last one. truck right back in the truck engine on suspension reset mid lift axle up pop that down there i don't know if i need it later or not high vis off seat belt on <coughs> Right, let's get out of here. We've got to do uh, a little bit of a reversing manoeuvre. Shouldn't be hard. Should be nice and easy. I said that, now I've messed up. <laughs> oh dear. There's planks of wood on the left-hand side, and I was trying to avoid them, and doing, in doing so, it meant I couldn't turn as quick as I'd wanted. There we go. You'll see in front, look, there's planks of wood on the floor. I was trying to avoid them. And in that regards, I did succeed, because I did avoid them. <laughs> Do we need to go on the left-hand side of this barrier? I don't know. I'm not going to. We will stop for the red light, mind you. Ah, green light, let's go. Turn that radio off. Yeah, I've never been in here before. So it's all new to me. I guess that red light is from that traffic. Out we go. Right, hazards off. Yeah, so we should be at our deliver, sorry, collection point in about 35 minutes, give or take. Not too shabby. And then um, go and get loaded for juicings. I'm kind of looking forward to going there because, like I said, I've been there for years. And it is nice to go to places that you've not been to for a while. It is nice. 
Um, so I don't know which way is the best way to come in because I come in from the left. You can also come in from this way. Both roads are um, access only roads, which obviously we needed to get to there. But this road is almost like a slip road onto the main road, which is obviously what I want. Whereas that road is a very tight sort of hairpin turn. So I'm going this way, it's easier. But I've got a feeling that the locals probably don't like trucks coming down here. Nice garden. So yeah, as you can see, I can sort of use it as like a stick road to get on. There's a truck coming. Enjoying after the truck. There we go. Lovely jubbly window up. Right, I'm going to crack on then to, to Henbury. Um, I'll see you guys when we get there. See you in a bit. Right, we are literally just around the corner. I've not been around here for ages. Where are you going? You again? None of these houses were here last time I was coming down here. I don't think this roundabout was here. I'm not sure. Not sure. Right, we've got to go over this bridge. And then um, take a left. Doesn't look like there's anyone queuing up to get in, so that's good. No one coming out, so I can go straight in. Anyone come in? Yeah, I can make that. It is weird, going to places that you've not been to for a while. It's very weird. Thank you for waiting. I assume you waited. Let's go through here. Very muddy. Wet. Which is the annoying thing, because if I've got to come back out to do my straps up, I'll be in, in the mud. <laughs> Which I don't want to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we used to wait down here. Yeah. I'm going to park here. I'm going to take my airlines off, put it into shunt mode, ready to do the tight turn. And, um, yeah, then we can go from there. But, yeah, I've not been here in ages. <laughs> it's cool. Right, um, let me go do some stuff. See you in a bit. Right, I've undone the airlines. I'm going to push the shunt button in which releases the brakes. And now the brakes have released, it means I can pour forward, reverse back, do whatever I need, but there'll be no brakes on the trailer. Uh, obviously it's all right. You don't go on the road like it, but in yards you can move around and uh, do tight turns. So I've taken the airlines off. Now we can really jackknife the truck round if we had to and not worry about airlines. Well, I think we go down now. That was the, the truck we pulled in behind. I think now we, um, we go down. And so I've not been here for ages. I don't know if I need to be waved down, I don't know. This bloke looks familiar on the right. I, he, yeah, yeah. I think he's going to recognise me. Hello, how you doing? Good. I've got a collection for bath. Jason's bath. Luke. <laughs> yeah. Right, I've been here in ages. How you doing? You right? Good, 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 good. Your ex boss is in. You have doing? Haven't seen him for ages. So Kev. Kev yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Camera's gone as well, ain't he? Yeah. 
went as well. Yeah, he went, yeah. yeah. I've been with these now for uh, coming up four years now. Four years, yeah. Still doing your... Um, Vlogging, yeah. Being worth doing this then, is it? What's that? I thought you were getting good money off of that. I am. I need to drive to do that. To do, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should be all right. Should be all right. I'll go, I'll go spin around then, yeah? Spin around, you know the score, don't you? Lovely. All right, mate, cheers. I was going to say, I recognised him. As soon as I come down here, I recognised him. And uh, he didn't spot me to begin with. Then he looked at me, he goes, Luke. <laughs> uh, that's funny. It is nice when you come to places that you've not been to for a while. Anyway, this is the turn. Let's see if I can do it first time. Like I said, I have taken off my airlines, so it shouldn't be an issue at all. Just got to watch the trailer, the tail end. Lovely. So now we're facing the right way. I can go put my airlines back on so it's ready to go when, we, uh, when we're loaded. I'm not sure what was going on. Nine pre-pack, he said. I think if it's nine pallets, then yeah, I'll strap up each pallet. Obviously. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if I've parked in the right place or not. We'll find out. Anyway, I'm gonna go put my airlines on. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, situation report. We are loaded. We've started strapping up, but uh, we've moved uh, just outside. We're well, not outside, we're still inside the yard, but outside the loading area, so we continue strapping up. He said we've got nine pre-packs, which was pallets, and I thought maybe that would be it, but it's not. We've got, we've got bolt bags as well. But I'm just gonna strap up each bolt bag, that'll do. So yeah, the pallets, like I said, this is what I've worried about. So put a strap over, and it might strap up the top bag there, but not that bag. So I've put these corner boards on just to compress the whole lot down. And uh, now we're gonna do uh, strap up all these bags as well. So yeah, let's crack on. And then uh, we can get going. Whew. I'll tell you what I haven't missed about this place, just how dirty you get. <laughs> Potholes all over the ground, you throw your straps over, they get soaking wet, and then it flicks up dirt. I've got dirt all over my face, look. <laughs> Where you're throwing straps and it just kicks up dirt. I've got dirt all over my trousers and yeah, I'm very dirty right now. Anyway, we're loaded. Jump in the truck a minute and use a, uh, a wet wipe and have a clean up. And here's what we look like. We're going to crack on like that. We'll get there safely and uh, and go from there, really. But it is funny how he recognised me. It took him it took him a couple of seconds to recognise me. I, as soon as I saw him, he looked familiar. The thing is, right, and this is my worst trait. I'm rubbish with names. I don't know what his name is. Uh, and for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> it is honestly my worst trait. I will call everybody mate. Even if you're not my mate, <laughs> I call you mate. Um, that is what I call you. Um, I don't, I just, I tend to not learn first names. I don't know why. I always forget. Everyone gets called mate, even if you're not my mate. And if you are my mate, you normally get called a C word. <laughs> right. Let's jump in the truck. I'm going to go. I'm going to see you when we get to, to Bath. And um, yeah, film film myself getting into bath not the bath because that's that's on my only fans right welcome to bath i'm starting to get slightly concerned with time yes we've got to go back to tetbury it's going to be a good hour to tetbury at least um let's just say we're here in bath for an hour we should be there just after half past 11 so that puts it to half past 12 which means half past one two o'clock to be safe let's say in Tetbury because it's more than an hour back to Tetbury so it's two o'clock say it takes an hour to load it might not but let's just say it does that's three o'clock there is no way I'm getting to, to Oxford before four o'clock it will take more than an hour it's we're on the cusp we really are on the cusp if it <laughs> if we're here for more than an hour I think it's game over but then also, if it takes more than an hour to load at Tetbury later, it's game over. Yes, we're very reliant on, on that. Not to mention, I think I'm going to need a half an hour break before going to Oxford. Because we're on 
an hour and 45 minutes driving now, which means by the time we get to um, uh, Tetbury, we're going to be well over three hours, which means we've only got an hour and a half driving time, and I think it takes about that to get to Oxford, so we might need to stop for a half an hour break on the way. I don't know, it's very cut, cut and go. We're on the cusp, like I said, for, um, for timings. We'll just do what we can. Being sat in traffic doesn't help. It really doesn't help. Whoa. Right, I think we're now out of the traffic. I think. We've got a... Uh, there's going to be an accident with that. That cyclist is a young lad. That's twice now. He's got really close to vehicles. He's very much giving me the impression that, like, he doesn't care. Silly. Anyway, we need to take a right-hand turn coming up, some 400 yards. It looks quite tight on the map, so let's see if we can make it. <laughs> Thanks for leaving the space. Thank you very much. All right, yeah, so this right-hand turn we've got to make, so we're going to start indicating right, but we definitely need to be in the left lane. I'm not 100% sure if we can make it or not. Should be all right, but we've got to take it very wide. Is this lorry knowing what I'm doing? Lovely. There's a lot of people waiting to get on that bus. I don't think I can get past it. Should we risk it? Nah, we're not going to make that. We're not going to make that gap. We'll just wait for everyone to get on the bus. Yeah, there's, there's like loads of students waiting to get on that bus. We can't get past. I think that's a little bit too tight. The bus is going now, let's so. Okay, up and over this bridge. There must be like a college or something around here nearby. University. It's got to be quite close. Around here. It's almost like a housing estate we're in, isn't it? <laughs> that bloody bus is stopping again. At least we can get round in this time, hopefully. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just concentrating. Vehicles are coming around the corners quicker than I would like. That van is slowed down to stop for me. Yeah, it's like literally in the housing estate. Big, big enough roads, aren't they? Big enough roads. The houses in Bath are massive. And then this is the bridge that we will not get under. And as long as I've done this correctly, we should come out the correct side of the bridge. We want to take a left here. Yeah. 
There we go. And then Juicers is here on the left. But I don't know whether we can just drive straight in or not. No, it definitely does not look like we can just drive in. There's a, a lorry already in there for starters. So what was I saying earlier about don't want to be here for more than an hour? I'm not sure where we're going to park either because there's cars down here, look. I'm going to assume lorries are going to want to come out of here. Right. There's a car waiting to get round. We need to go in, go speak to someone, find out where they want us, and then we'll go from there. See you in a bit. Right, we are uh, in. We turned up at half past 11 this morning, and uh, it's quarter past 12 now. And uh, yeah, just been let in. Actually, my bad, it's 20 past 12. So it did take nearly an hour just to be let in, let alone start unloading. And it's, um, it's one of those sites where it's very small, very tight, and you can't get in unless customers move out of the way. So I was waiting for two customers to move before I could even get into the loading area. But we're in and we're being unloaded. But like I said, it's 20 past 12 now. It's an hour and 20 minutes back to Tetbury. So that's near, well, by the time I get tipped here, we're talking two o'clock minimum, plus I need half an hour breaks, so that's half past two. I can't see the Oxford being delivered by four, unless it's going to a place where they take deliveries after four o'clock, I can't see it being made today. But we will do what we can do. We'll get back as soon as possible, get loaded. I'll probably make a phone call on the way actually, and just double check, because you might move things around. We'll see. Well, I've just phoned the boss up to tell him, because it's getting to the point now where if it needs to be off today, and I believe I'm in a position where I'm not gonna be able to do it, he needs to know, so. I just phoned him up and he's going to get someone else to do it, so I'm awaiting new details. Don't know what it's going to be. I, w <laughs> I was scheduled to be home tonight, but that might now change things. That might now mean that I'm not home tonight. <laughs> it's fine. It's Valentine's Day today as well, so it's not the end of the world. I should probably say by not the end of the world, I mean like my wife and I tell each other, you know, without being sloppy, that we love each other every day, so <laughs> we don't need like a special day. And obviously, my job, being a HV driver, I'm often away from home and I've, I've missed plenty of stuff, like, with kids growing up and stuff. So it's just like, yeah, all right, you'd like to be home, but we're both prepared for me not to be. So that's what I mean by not the end of the world. We, we you know, we can do something on the weekend together anyway. So weekends I have off, non-negotiable. Right, we're tipped. It's uh, quarter to one in the afternoon. If we went straight to Tetbury from here, we'd be there for two o'clock, bang on two o'clock. However, however, I will need a half an hour break if I go to Oxford. So that puts it at half past two, plus whatever loading time is. Let's say, let's say, be generous and say half an hour, that's three o'clock. It takes more than an hour to get to Oxford, so I'm, I'm not making it. I don't actually know what I'm doing yet though. That's the thing, my boss has not messaged or phoned back yet. So, we're in a situation whereby we're gonna have to leave this place because we can't stay in here because we get stuck. Like I said, if, like, there's customers blocking the way all the time. Just now I, I couldn't get out. Luckily I hadn't finished being unloaded, but it's just as well because I wouldn't have been able to get out anyway. Um, that's gonna leave it very tight to make that right hand turn. I'm hoping the trailer doesn't swing too much and hit the back end of this truck because that's gonna swing. I'm gonna have to take this really literally as wide as I can. Okay, yeah, we're clear, we're clear. 
we're clear. So yeah, we just need to um, now just park somewhere and uh, and wait for instructions on where to go next. So we'll um, if we find a nice wide open area with lots of space to park, then we will. Otherwise, it's probably a good idea to make our way towards Bristol because even if we want to go back to Swindon from Bath, we've got to go via Bristol anyway because of the weight limit. Um, is it Cleveland Bridge, I think they call it? Unless, of course, we've got to go to, uh, like, Trowbridge area, in which case then we'd be going the wrong direction. I think I can park up here on this corner next to this car, look. It's plenty wide enough for vehicles to get round and see through. So we're just going to park up here. Come on then, I've got my hazards on. we we'll park up here and um, I'm going to give my boss a call now and find out where we're going. General direction. Well, unless you had someone from me by then, yeah. Yeah, alright mate, no worries. Bye bye, mate. Right, see you in a bit, mate. Right, so... He, he said, yeah, just head out of Bath and I was... and give me a call when you're at the motorway. So I was like, which way? <laughs> which side of Bath? Because you can go like east or west. So we're going to go um, sort of east. Um, no, sorry, west, sorry. Towards Bristol, and then get on the M32, and then I'll give them a call then before we get onto the M4, and then find out where we're going, because then we will need to know whether we're going to go east or west from there. So yes, um, I'll probably see you when I know what I'm doing, or when I'm at the next place, wherever that might be. Um, yeah, well, by the sounds of it, we are going to go and collect something from somewhere. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> okay, we are at our collection point hmm. we're at the back of the queue it's a single file queue meaning you can't get out once you're in we're in swindon where am i <laughs> um i'm looking at a lot of blue stuff right now if you haven't guessed already i'm in chat so yeah we're, at, we're literally at the back of the queue we're literally on the entrance to get in it's most likely going to be a three hour wait from here. Um, what time is it? it the story is... would just be a guy with. It's quarter past two now, so we probably will be here still come five o'clock. But it is what it is. Um, once we're tipped here, sorry, once we're collected here, straight back to the yard and um, go home tonight, go see the wife, and, uh, and then we go do the delivery tomorrow. It's going to a place called Chard. So shout out any Chardonians watching. But yeah, let's see what time we're going to get loaded from here. I reckon if we're lucky, if they're quick and we're lucky, half past four. But that's not when we'll be leaving, that's when we get loaded. If we're lucky, we'll be out of here by five o'clock. If we're lucky. But I might be longer, might be longer. Never mind. Time to chill, because we've got a couple of hours at least just to mess around and chill. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Okay, it's quarter past four, and uh, we have now been let in. We're still waiting to be loaded, but we have been let in. Uh, I don't want to show too much. We've uh, we booked in on the tablet on the way in, and I've been guided to the bay they want me in to be loaded, and then the guy said two minutes, and then he drove off. But we're in, we're in. Um, so hopefully we get loaded, and we will be out of here by five o'clock, which is kind of what I wanted, and what I suspected, I think. I can't remember. It was a while ago, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'll uh, I'll see you outside once uh, once we start strapping. Someone's being shouted at. I don't know who you. Right, we are loaded, and we are almost strapped. Just got three more to do, and then um, we'll be there. driver forklift driver right behind me i'm not going to get him on camera but he's the one that had to go at me for having my beacons on last time because they were too bright <laughs> anyway we're going to jump in the truck back to the yard right door shut 
raise me up seat. As if we don't have enough air. High vis can come off. Hard hat can go over there. Uh, there we go. Phone on grey door. I'm looking forward to getting home and having a shower because I'm so dirty from today. Like the sand and the, the just dirt. Looking forward to having a wash. Right, let's go. Just got a really weird message from my daughter saying I don't know what IK means. It means I know. And I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> she's um, going on like she's a teenager, thinking I don't know what things like LOL mean and BRB. I'll have to teach her a thing or two. Anyway, it's an awkward time. It's bang on five o'clock right now. We are leaving bang on five o'clock. Was that what I said earlier? That I'd like to be out by five? I think it was. I'm not sure. So, um, considering we were right at the back, I think we turned up at half past two, I think. Um, so, two and a half hours, considering we were right at the back, is not too bad. It's not great, is it? But it's not too bad. Anyway, so we've got a choice now. Do we go through Swindon Town? Bear in mind, everyone is now going to be finishing work. Or, have they had a crash or something? Don't know if they've had an accident. Or do we go junction 15 on the M4, go down to 16? No, sorry, the other way around. Junction 16, go down to 15. That is the way that I'm inclined to go, I think, at this time. If it was if it was like car past four, I'd probably cut through Swindon, but I just know it's gonna be manic. Absolutely manic. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go the M4 way. We'll be back in the yard in 20 minutes. Should be back in the yard by 20 past five park up, get gone, and probably be home by six o'clock tonight. Fingers crossed. Wife has informed me tonight's supper is steak. Steak on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Can't say no to that. Cannot say no to that. So yeah, we've got 520 Chet pallets. This is going to chard in the morning, and um, paperwork says you can't get there before eight o'clock. So I'll probably leave the yard, get, aim to get in the yard for six, and uh, we're gay from there. We're gay from there tomorrow, of course, being Thursday. But yes, that is going to be it for today's video. So I am going to love you and leave you. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. It's been a good day today in the sense that we delivered something different. Never delivered that before. Strange, though, because it kept coming loose. Um, I kept doing it up and making it tight, but it kept coming loose again. Um... But it got there in one piece, nothing fell off. Yes, one or two straps may have been loose when I parked up for the night, but, you know, end of day checks, trapped it up. Daily checks in the morning, still all tight, jobs are good and off you go. And then it was good to go to uh, to Henbury, a place I've not been to for years. Like, last time I'd been there was um, when I was working for JK Transport. A good, a good five years ago, I would say, because it wasn't towards the end of JK Transport. It was uh, in the middle of being with them, and I was with them for three years, and I've been here for nearly four years, plus I was at Earthline for a little bit as well. So I think it really was a good sort of five years ago that I was last uh, there, so <laughs> it's nice that they, um, they recognised me, that is nice. And again, like I said earlier, I'm just useless with names, it's my worst trait. I should, um, should really try and remember names a bit more, but I uh, don't know, just, I struggle, I struggle. This black van is... Uh, very close he's gone down so yeah we're going to join the m4 now we're going to crack on hopefully you've enjoyed this video um i do appreciate it don't forget to leave a like uh leave a comment if you've got any questions i'll see if i can get back to you hit that subscribe button ring the bell notification so you get a notification every time i upload and uh, don't forget to check out my second channel more luke c all of that would be very much appreciated you don't have to if you don't want to but um if you did i would be very much appreciative road to 100k let's try and get there um, we're trying to build up the old TikTok as well, but we'll see, uh, we'll see which one gets to 100k first. The YouTube or the TikTok, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. I really like the backing. It looks awesome. See you later.